Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can create a quick title sequence for a TV show, advertisement, or anything that you have uh, simply by using iClone, bringing in some text layers from Photoshop or whatever program you have into iClone. It's fairly simple. We're going to be recreating something similar to what you see right here, this Med Talk with Christine McDonald. Alright, so just these basically text layers appearing on a video background will render that all in iClone. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started first of all. I'm going to close this down. Now in iClone, the first thing that I want to do is make sure that my render size, uh, if I go to my render tab up here, I want to make sure my output size is the same size as my final video output that I want. So in this case, I'm going to choose 720p. So under output size, I'm going to go frame size and choose HD 720p right there. And now we have the correct size for our final video import or export rather. All right, so let's go to the video uh, tab here that I have open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my first uh, background video, which is just this one right here, a DNA strand, um, pretty cool uh, effect right here. All we're going to do is I'm going to right click and bring this into my icon scene. We're going to bring it in as, you can bring it in as anything really. Um, I'm going to bring it as a, as a plane, first of all. And let's press the F key. And it's going to focus uh, orthographic front view. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll my mouse button to zoom in. I'm just scrolling my mouse wheel really uh, here to zoom into uh, whatever level we need. And this looks like it's okay. It takes up most of the screen. Alternately, you can, uh, you know, hold Alt and uh, click both your mouse buttons at the same time and click and drag and zoom in and out that way. All right, so now we have this background just like this. All right, so what I want to do is I want to export this as a single image because we're going to export it to Photoshop and uh, use our text layers in Photoshop, create our text layers in Photoshop. So let's render this out as a PNG. Uh, current frame, we only want the current frame, and we want to go down and just go ahead and render it, 720p, and export. And we'll just call this uh, background, I'll save it to my desktop. Okay, so now we have this image right here. So what I want to do is go into Photoshop now, and remember that this is going to be a 720p image, so I'm going to go File and Open, and we're going to find our background right here. There you go. And if I press Control, Alt, and I, our image size, 1280 by 720. Okay, so let's go ahead and just create some text layers on our background here. We're not going to be using this still uh, background. But let's go ahead and to our text tool over here, and I'm going to be using this uh, Sitka. Uh, there's a Sitka bold uh, banner bold right here for the Med Talk section. So let's just go ahead and uh, click that. I'm going to uh, use a, a font size of about 200 as well. I'm going to go up to 200 here and press Enter there and. We're going to just type in med talk. Okay, and that looks pretty cool. Position it somewhere uh, about right here. And then we'll just go ahead and do a couple of different uh, Photoshop effects. Um, so I'm going to just uh, double click the entire thing. And I'm going to use my color swatch. And we'll use something like this. A uh, similar color to what we have. Uh, just using the uh, eyedropper tool again here. Similar to what we have on this uh, DNA strand. Uh, or you can use the background. But uh, the DNA strand works a little bit better because it's a lighter color. All right, we'll go ahead and press OK. And then what I want to do is just go to Layer and Layer Style. And you can just choose something like Bevel and Emboss and make a nice uh, bevel uh, similar to this what we have right here. Uh, we can choose Smooth or Chisel Hard or whatever. I think this Smooth looks pretty good. And you can change the uh, Shadow Opacity level like that as well. Um, various things that you can do in Photoshop. I'm not going to spend too much time on that because you can do it on your own. And I also want to add a stroke effect as well. So I'm going to go to stroke and that will surround it with a nice black, uh, heavy black outline right there. And again, you can change the uh, type of your uh, stroke by clicking it and choosing the size, position, outside, blend mode, and all that fun stuff. But we're not going to worry too much about that. I do want to adjust the color a little bit. Let's go to uh, our color. Let's make it a little bit darker like this. Uh, maybe a little bit less. Uh, I just want it to be a little bit less... Uh, Cyan there, something like that will do. Okay, we'll work with that. I'm being too picky here. All right, go ahead and press OK. So mid talk right there. All right, and let's go ahead and now add in our second text layer, which is going to be uh, with Christina McDonald. So let's type down here, and this time I'm going to use a 72 pixel uh, font size. And we're going to choose a slightly different font. Uh, then we're going to choose a Sitka display italic right here. We're going to choose a Sitka banner italic, pretty much the same thing. We'll go with Christina McDonald. Okay. And we can place that uh, somewhere over here. And maybe I'll change that font size to, or font color to white as well. 
Let's do something white. I guess we have to select it all. And bring it to white. There we go. Okay. And for this uh, layer, all I'm going to do is I'm not going to bevel or emboss it. I'm just going to have a uh, stroke uh, outline. So it looks like that. Okay, so this is what our uh, eventual banner is going to look like once everything's on the screen. Now, I'm not going to be using any drop shadow because I'm going to be showing you how you can use drop shadow in iClone. You can create your own drop shadows in uh, iClone. Okay, so we have these text layers here. Now, because we've uh, created these text layers on a uh, 1280 by 720 image, they're going to be placed in the exact position that they are right here in iClone. And I'll show you that in just a sec. So let's first of all export these as individual layers. So I'm going to make my background layer invisible and the, the uh, with Christine McDonald invisible. And let's just export this. We'll go to File, Export, and we can select Quick Export as PNG. Now I'll export it as a uh, transparent PNG. We'll just call this Med Talk. Okay, and then we'll make this layer visible and this layer invisible. And go File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. And we'll call this one Tina for short. Uh, for short for Christina. All right, and then we'll go back into iClone. And in iClone, all I want to do now is import in those text layers. So I can go to my desktop here where I save them. And let's right click and drag this MedTalk into iClone. And I'm just going to do that anywhere. And I'm just going to select it as a plane. And it'll be behind our video layer, but we can just simply align it. Let's go to our scene manager here. And this is our uh, plane right here. We can rename it like uh, MedTalk just to keep things uh, a little bit clearer. And we will align it to the default image plane. X, Y, and Z. And you can see it's kind of a little bit behind it, but that's okay. Let's just press OK right now. And if I press the W hotkey, it brings up our movement gizmo. Now, I'm going to create a camera so that we can stay at this position uh, all the time. I'm going to create a camera here. And then I can go to my preview camera, and we can see this in like a 3D view. So you can see right here, it's kind of in the, in the mesh of the uh, video texture uh, in the background there. And if we select MedTalk, you can see that we have a green arrow that will bring it forward and back. Now the green arrow represents the Y axis. So uh, R is X, green is Y, and Z is blue. So if I select that layer like I have selected right now, go to my camera view, and then go to my modify tab, what I can do is I can simply on the Y axis, I can select, uh, I can move it forward. So I can move it like this, 499, 498, like this. And I can just do something like maybe 490. And you can see we have that drop shadow in the background that creates automatically. We can do uh, 495, we want that to be smaller. I think maybe a uh, happy medium, 492 might be uh, good. All right, and then we can also use the forward slash key uh, because we have lights in our scene right here. We just have a key light and a rim light. If I use the forward slash key, I can change the position of that light to determine, you know, where the shadow is casting. All right, we'll just leave it right there for now. I think that looks fine. And then let's bring in the, uh, with Christina McDonald. So let's do the same thing. Uh, right click and drag this Tina into our iClone project. Import as a plane. Do the same thing. Uh, we'll rename it as a Tina and align it to the plane. X, Y, and Z, and this one seems like it's positioned correctly. Okay, we can do like something like 495 just in case, and get a little bit of a drop shadow, maybe uh, 498. We don't want too much of a drop shadow on that one. Okay, I think that's okay. We don't want, we don't really want to have a drop shadow on this uh, text right here. Now what we're going to do is the text animation. So this is the fun part where we get to animate the text. So we're in our camera view. Let's change to our preview camera. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is have the MedTalk text layer appear from behind the camera. So let's select that layer and let's move it back on the Y axis here. Let's move it to behind the camera right here. And then we'll uh, play back for a little bit. And probably at this frame, about frame 100, we want to kind of zoom in and appear on our video screen. So then we can just position it back where we had it before. I think it was something like 498 or maybe 495, something like that. Check our camera view just to make sure. Okay, we still have the uh, drop shadow right there. Now I'm going to press F3 and go into my timeline, and you can see in the transform track, it created a keyframe. So this is the position, and if we play back, it'll appear like that on our screen. All right, well, we probably want to make it a little bit faster, so let's click and drag this uh, keyframe right here, maybe to about this frame, and then we have something like this. And it just appears on our screen like that, mid-talk. And if we want the uh, 
you know, to have a little bit less of a linear uh, movement, what we can do is we can just go ahead and right-click on this transform keyframe, use transition curve, and use something like ease out, or let's choose a custom one uh, for now, and we'll choose uh, ease out. And you can see now if we uh, play back, it slows down a little bit as it approaches its destination. And we can make that even more uh, significant by uh, increasing the level of the ease out. Let's see. There you go. See, it zooms in really fast and then kind of slows as it approaches. Um, but I think we'll just kind of leave it as something a little bit more reasonable, about three quarters of the way there. And we'll work with that. Okay, so now what we have is this mid talk with Christina McDonald. You can just hear the narrator saying right now, or the announcer. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is the uh, with the Christina McDonald layer, I'm going to make that invisible at the beginning. So let's go ahead with uh, select that Tina layer and go to our materials over here, and we're going to basically just take the opacity, which is right here, all the way down to zero. Okay, so now it's invisible. And what I'm going to do actually before I do that is I'm going to increase the opacity. I'm going to add a glow channel in because we want this to glow later on. So I'm going to go to my glow channel, double click that, just add a glow map, a nice white glow map like that. And you can see that's what we're going to have at the extent of our glowing. But for now, we're going to take it down to zero. And we're also going to take our opacity down to zero. All right. And then we'll go ahead and play back. So med talk. And then probably here at about frame 175, we want to have with Christina McDonald appear on the screen. So what we can do in this case is with Tina selected, um, I can go ahead and choose my material uh, track, open that material track, and I'm going to just click on that uh, frame 175 there, and I'm going to change my opacity to 1, and that'll create a keyframe in the material track right there. And if we open those tracks, you can see that uh, it's in the material settings track right here. You can also just double click there if we want. Uh, I'm going to go to the frame before that because you can see, even with an opacity of one, you can see that it shows up a little bit on the screen. So we need to make sure that the frame before that, we still have opacity zero. Okay, so from the beginning until this point, we're going to have opacity zero. And then probably up until frame 210, we'll have our max opacity right here. And then we'll increase the strength of the glow map as well. So we'll have something like this. And then if I zoom in a little bit, we can play back. So, mid talk with Christina McDonald. Okay, and then we want the glow to eventually fade out. So we can go to here and then take our strength all the way down to zero. Okay, so then we have something like this with Christina McDonald. Okay, so let's play back the entire thing just to, to give you a show, uh, take a look here. Mid talk with Christina McDonald. All right, and then, you know, the med talk, we can add a little bit of extra stuff onto that as well. We can uh, do something like, uh, you know, move it a little bit to the side. So uh, let's select our med talk uh, layer and go over here. And this is when it starts to move in like that. And then Christina McDonald, maybe at about, uh, you know, to frame 400 or 380 or something. Let's take the med talk and let's rotate it. Let's press the E hotkey. And you can see the uh, gizmo is a little bit too low for us to move it. But let's go ahead to our uh, edit tab here. And we can go do is rotate it on the blue Z axis. So let's choose something like uh, 20. And you can see it'll go behind the uh, video layer, which we don't want. So we can probably bring it up a little bit further, 490 maybe, or maybe even 480. There we go. And uh, maybe it's a little bit too tilted, so we'll just do something like uh, 10. And we can probably uh, you know, work with that. And let's go ahead and play back now. So as soon as it comes in, it's going to slowly rotate. You can see it's slowly rotating with the shadow growing like that with Christine McDonald. All right. So then what you can do is you can just go ahead and render that out. So let's do that right now. Let's go to uh, Render. And I'm going to go to, uh, uh, we need to choose Video now instead of uh, Image. We'll choose MP4. Again, go back to the uh, 1280 by 720p. And we can go ahead and render that. Render that out. Just go export. And we'll go. We'll call it a title test onto our desktop. And that'll uh, render. Oops. Again, you want to make sure that... Uh, we'll just discard this render. You want to make sure as well that you choose the length of your project. So, Med Talk with Christina McDonald. All right. And we only need to be about 500 frames, I would say. Let's choose 500 frames. Let's go export range. One, two, 500. Okay. 
So that'll bring our little project marker up to there. And then when we export, we'll call it a test title. And now when we export, it's not going to take uh, nearly as long. So let's wait for this to export. You see MedTalk coming in. And then what we can do is we can use something like the uh, motion montage pack and we can apply this video to any one of those uh, you know, TV walls or, uh, or moving screens or anything like that and create an additional effect. So it's kind of like Inception. We're making a video inside of a video and stuff like that. All right, so we can open it. Uh, there we go. MedTalk. Christina McDonald. All right, so let's we'll keep it like that. And then let's go ahead and create a new project. We don't need to save this one right now. Let's do something like go into our props, and we'll close down the timeline right now. And do props, and uh, we'll go to 3D effects, motion montage. If I can uh, move this over a little bit, there we go. Motion montage, volume two. So action panels, uh, bonus. You can use something like these TV walls, for example. This is a good uh, good option here. We'll do something like the uh, TV wall flat, our uh, TV wall collapsing. Let's just choose this TV wall falling right now. So I'm going to uh, click, double click this, add it in, press the F key, and that'll focus on it. And let's zoom in to something like this. And I'm going to right click it, perform, and rise. So it'll rise up like that. And we want to bring our project starter a little bit forward because it needs to rise like that. And then Med Talk with Christina McDonald, blah, 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 blah. And then we'll, uh, Right click, perform, and fall back down. So you can just imagine that uh, your background, instead of this gray, the background is your actual TV show with the host coming in and everything like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and apply that video. So where we want the video to start is about this frame, I would say, right here. So let's go ahead at this point, let's go to our desktop, and here's test title. I'm going to left click and drag this into iClone and apply it to our plane right here. So when you import it in, that's when your video is going to start playing. So our video is not going to start playing until frame 61. So let's take a look at how this looks. Okay, so pretty seamless. Med talk. Christina McDonald. And then it'll fall, just like that. Okay, and then your host will appear and uh, do his stuff. So that's really all I wanted to show you here. Kind of just a really neat little thing. You don't really have to use things like After Effects. You can just use iClone with text layers. You can also use 3D, actual 3D mesh uh, letters as well if you want to do this. But... I just want to just kind of show you a really neat little way that you can use uh, Photoshop text layers to do uh, bring in titles like this and composite it together with uh, video walls and uh, special effects. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out our other tutorials and our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.